What it do, fam? It's your boy, Product Boy K, back again with another one, man. Look, I'm going to keep this joint quick, precise, and straight to the point. Dallas, if y'all lose this game, y'all need to tank the season. And y'all just, I'm telling you, bro, it's rebuild mode in Dallas, bro. But before we get into that, if you're new, you already know what to do. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell. Join the 1K fam, man. We on the way up, no cap. Look, I'm going to get back to what I was saying, man. I've been listening to everybody's take on Dallas's struggles defensively, you know, coaching-wise. And I just listened to Cam Newton's take on what he thinks about Dak Prescott can't fix Dallas. Here's why. Cam made some really amazingly good points, bro. Coming from a quarterback that led his team to the bowl against Peyton Manning, bro. Cam made some great points. I did not see this video of Dak Prescott and what he said after the, the loss to the Ravens, bro. The only thing I saw was, was CD Lamb. If you missed it, here it is. Dak Prescott said, jump off the ship if you want. What? Dak, after a loss, bro? This is what you saying, walk into the locker room? Because you and C.D. Lamb have been having frustrations. Y'all been having frustrations since since, <laughs> since last season, bro. And I seen, we we all seen C.D. Lamb going rah-rah, rah-rah crazy because he, he not touching the ball enough. I mean, seven targets, four catches, bro. I mean, at some point, we, he needs help. <laughs> he feel like he has to do it all. Offensively, all we have is C.D., Dak, and Jake. Rico doing good. Jalen Tolbert is stepping up. Brandon Cooks is too old. We don't have a true number two wide receiver. I'm not talking about number two receiver because Jake Ferguson is number two. CD feels like he has to do everything. This <laughs> losing is exposing the delusion in Dallas. And I do believe that because as Dallas fans, we are delusional, right? We think we just going to win everything. We think we're going to go to the bowl. When we have a winning season, nah, bro. And then when shit hit the fan and Dallas start losing, like I said we were, if y'all missed my segment, I said Dallas would be trash this year because we didn't sign anybody offensively. I said it. I said we're probably not going to go above 500, bro. We're not winning the division. I said it, bro. It's fine if we don't, bro. It's time to tank. It's time to tank. We gave CeeDee Lamb and Dak Prescott all this money, bro. It is time to rebuild. Rebuild that great wall of Dallas. Get a great young receiver, great run, young running back. We got we got CeeDee Lamb locked up. We got Dak Prescott locked up. Let's lock up Jake Ferguson. Let's keep Jalen Tolbert. Let's get a true number rookie wide receiver that can complement CD. And let's get a great running back. And I'm telling you, watch, watch, watch how things come together, bro. We're struggling because we're putting the we're putting the pressure all on Dak right now. We're putting the pressure all on Dak. Hey Dak, you're gonna throw 35, 40 passes every game. I want you to just go out there and win us the game. He gotta do that for say 17 weeks? 17 weeks? You 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 expect Dak to throw 35, 40 passes, Mike McCarthy? At some point you gotta establish the run game, man. You got to establish the run game, man. Rico needs to be the number one back. Zeke had his time at Dallas. He's washed. He can be a great veteran veteran guy to Rico. He can be the number two. Rico needs to be the number one. He's hungry. I can see it in, in how he runs. Here's my take, though. Dallas, if y'all lose this game tonight versus the Giants, tank the season, bro. Get them low draft picks, bro. Get them low draft picks, man. It's going to add value to the team. Tank the season, bro. I don't expect us to go to the playoffs and win, not with this defense that can stop the run. If we lose tonight, the season might be over because I got us losing to Pittsburgh, I got us losing to the Lions, and I got us losing to the Niners because we all know all of them guys that's hurt on the Niners is going to be back. The Lions are going to be... <laughs> trying to get that revenge against us and that we beat them last season at home. Look, man, 
if we lose this game tonight, which we shouldn't, we should go into the bye week two and three or two and four, two and four. If we lose this game tonight versus the Giants, which I don't think we will because Dak Prescott is 12 and 0 against the Giants. There's no way in hell. There's no way in hell. But if we lose, tank the season, bro. Trust me, bro. It'd be the best thing that we do. Get rid of Mike. Get a new head coach in. Rebuild, man. Rebuild. There's nothing wrong, man. Dallas needs to rebuild, bro. We, Mike McCarthy, you have lost the locker room, son. You have lost the locker room, bro. You have lost the locker room. It's either we, we win, we win this game, and we go on a straight win streak. We win this game, and we do the best we can for the rest of the season. Just keep coasting, and see where it puts us in the draft class. Or we lose this game and we tank. You got three things. That you need to be more of a leader. No negativity, bro. You you you're a great guy, bro. No negativity should be coming from you, bro. You are the highest paid player in the NFL. You should be all smiles no matter what. It don't matter if we win or lose, bro. You need to be a positive influence on this team. You need to keep these guys together, man. The locker room is being lost because we are losing, because we're not used to losing. Do better, man. CD, man, I don't got nothing to say to you, bro. I already know. Cam Newton said it best. Star receivers always come with baggage. I understand you want the ball, but I also understand you don't got no help. Jake, keep doing what you're doing. Mike, man, get this locker room together, man. Dallas is losing its culture. And Jerry, Jerry Jones, it's your fault, man. This all could have been stopped if we signed Saquon or Derrick Henry. Either one of those guys, man. Or even Joe Mixon, bro. We don't got a run game. That's literally the problem with the offense. And defense is getting ran all over.